so uh, hey guys, uh, Ani the Robot here again. Uh, so full disclosure, uh, my game, uh, I get the recording of it glitched out and I ended up uh, not recording this entire section in the crematorium, which was really annoying because I had gotten pretty far. Um, so I came back to replay it again. It just felt like the right thing to do. Um, but just so you know, this will be the second time I'm playing this section again. Ugh, I don't really know what I did wrong, but such is the way with technology that is new to you. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and continue on. Oh, God. Oh, he said what? What did he say? Who said what? Nothing over here. Duh. What was that? Missing something here for some reason. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> so, it's so stupid that I got scared by that again. Because, yeah. It's, okay. <laughs> this is the second time I'm playing this, so I should not have been scared. Oh, terribleness. Terribleness. Come on, little buddy. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. It's like Karate Kid moment. Uma Thurman style. Exit out of this coffin. Oh, I was no one's. Okay, I'm nobody's, I should say. Here. That I will say, this section seems like there's a lot of stuff that, like, um. A lot of sections where it doesn't seem like, uh, you're really getting anything out of the areas. Like, just a lot of dead areas, you know? Which is interesting. An interesting choice by the developers. Um, cause it seems like a lot of work for a whole lot of nothing. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Huh. Nope. Just a randomly placed chair. Uh, so right over here was where our little buddy was like, You promised! So promised what? I don't know. I actually don't remember checking this area out last time, so maybe that's a good thing. Oh, that's the exit. Ah, oh, that's so sad. You would have assumed they would have helped their little buddy out. He is like just a few more feet to go. Oh, oh, I have not read this document. Okay, all right, there's a positive now um, from going back and playing. Okay, excerpt. From the recordings of Dr. Bruce Newhouse, M.D., employed by Mount Massive Hospital, 1958 to 1965. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God. That's not condescending at all. Uh, so let me, be, let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of your work, uh, I and the rest of your, the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients. And if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or similar calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer to our patients, especially considering the depth and, necessar and necessarily chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Uh, 
Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have families to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. Uh, <laughs> we are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. Uh, DBNR, Dr. Newhouse, MD, May 20th, 1961. All right, okay. So, new piece of paperwork there. That's nice. Is this Father Newhart right there? Probably is. I don't know why he needed so many photos of himself, but, uh, you know, this poor guy. So close. So many promises, and, uh, so little actually kept. Oh! Oh. No. Oh, no. My dear. Oh, it's kind of a, a weird, uh, a weird jump there. A little dramatic, if you ask me. Gosh, that was quite a fall he took. Bit of a tumble. Just a little side note here. So this over here, I don't know why this makes me so sad. I think it's cause like, I picture this poor, this poor jerk over here that fell to the ground. Like he thought he finally found his refuge and like, you know, he set up camp, you know, and he's writing himself a little like journal and was like, you know, I, I feel safe here. And then just like that, like even there, you know? Even there, he can't find his peace. And that's just... That's just crappy, you know? Like, give the guy a break. Like, poor thing, you know? Okay, so if I remember correctly... This way is to the... Battery... Yep. Which I know all of them spawn uh, randomly, but whatever. Uh, now this section. I'm trying to remember it again. Oh, right, right. Say return to our little friends. I'm sorry, that was really terrible. <laughs> I will say I like the little detail uh, on the giving our sh even our shadow uh, that you get to see when he's holding the camera or not. Uh, Dr. Dallaire, I presume? You know, he's doing that on purpose, by the way. It's very rude. Okay. I told you it would be open. I keep moving, Graham. We're almost done. See, that's an exit right there. Which, honestly, come on. Lots of tape recorders. None of them... I guess they're just basically spawn points for batteries, maybe? I suppose. Is really what it is, you know? Oh, I know our little friend is gonna come out of here. Uh, should we just run it, guys? I mean, I think I know which way I'm going. Bad time to change the battery. Gonna speed run it. Woo. 
Because I know. <laughs> Dummy. Can't, can't come over here. <laughs> and it makes me feel oddly powerful. Uh, okay, let me see here. Yeah, it's not as much fun. Uh, uh, I, I find the commentary. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, the commentary when you've already played it once, so it's it's a little tougher to say new things. Ugh. Now you see. Now. Jesus. Oh God. Look at how much urine is on the floor. See me now. I'll just try. It's the sound that's grossing me out. Real gross. Aw. Oh. Guys, reading. Okay. Jesus. Find the main valve and shut off the gas to access the airlock. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I remember this document. Maybe I didn't get it. No, I did not. Okay, okay. Excerpt from 1957 and comment on IG report operations of TSD. Number seven, influencing human behavior. E, the potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective to its program to be prepared to support and make sure operations, uh, operations possible. Hold on. Am I reading this wrong? Chemical division includes it is an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make operations possible. Sorry, read that wrong. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Note, J. Lawler, April 15, 1958, present, uh, the above M. Kulta, Kultra excerpt uh, to technical services division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolph Wernicke, asset, uh, whatever that number is, and Project Wall Rider. Autopsy of recovered test subjects shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal uh, combustion that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. Okay. So people were dying. And they were really pumping them full of drugs. Uh, well, not drugs so much as chemicals. Um, so that's really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So it first time I played this, I actually <laughs> I had the hardest time trying to open the store. Uh, yeah, because why would anybody? Honestly. Right, right, right. So we got to go to number 237, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is the number of the hotel in The Shining, right? I'm going to have to double check myself on that one. Um, so I don't kill myself over the trivia. Oh, look at that. So you see these little, uh, little doohickeys? 
they are basically just little flash points. Isn't that interesting? And an interesting way to get around a room. I like it. I like it. I like those details. I think they're really nice. See, so now we're over here on this side. All right, off to number 237, shall we? Oh. So that senior psychopants doesn't actually find us. Isn't that nice? Kind of nice little. Danger, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Because, and it took me a minute to understand. Oh God, fine, fine. These batteries, I swear to God, clearly not Duracells. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. See, so he can't really get through that part of it, so he's stuck. <laughs> Jerk. Uh, lock. I don't remember that jump scare. Hey, at least we got a battery out of it, really, right? So that's pretty good. Oh, and then he ran in here. <laughs> All right, new section we run into. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Go away! This is my place. You gotta get me killed! Fuck off! Oh. Well, that's very rude, sir. Okay, so check this out. Uh, this is, I think, where I'm gonna stop it for now. Um, because this next section I actually have not figured out yet. So it's a good place to stop. Um, we'll pick it up here at the next section uh, and see what happens, all right? All right, guys, uh, sorry for the sort of replay. I know it's not as exciting to watch, but whatever. Um, we'll pick it up next time. Thanks, guys, bye.